Hello my dear kids. Where are you all? Are you inside your house or outside your house? Yes, due to this COVID pandemic, we all are inside our house. We can't go outside, isn't it? So my dear kids, please stay healthy and stay inside your house. So this is our first chapter shapes and spaces and the first thing which we are going to learn here is about inside and outside can you see this bottle is there some candies where are those candies are they inside this bottle or outside that bottle yes it is inside the bottle the candies are inside the bottle now can you tell me where is it it is outside this bottle. So you all know what is inside and what is outside. And here there is a beautiful story about an Arab and a camel. Okay, so this Arab and this, his camel was traveling through a desert. Have you seen camels, anyone? Yeah, I know most of you might have. Yes, and camel is known as ship of the desert. Okay, so this Arab and his camel was traveling through a desert on a cold winter, in a cold winter night. And what happened is during night, this uh, Arab, he pitched a tent and uh, he went inside because it was really cold outside and the camel was outside that tent. After some time, camel came and asked that Arab, can I put my head inside the tent? Because it is too cold outside. Okay, then the Arab agreed. Okay, you can. You can put your head inside. Then after a few more minutes, the camel came and asked again, can I put my first front two legs inside this tent? Arab agreed for that also. After some time, Camel asked the Arab, Can I come inside because it is too cold outside? Then the Arab said, No, you can't. See, this is a small tent and we both can't be there together in this. But what did the Camel do? He came inside the tent and the Arab was thrown out of the tent. See, poor Arab, right? So that is what is inside and outside. Now you look. How many trees are here? How many trees you can see here? Yes, two trees are here. Can you tell me which is the bigger tree and which is the smaller tree here? Yes, this one, the first tree is the bigger one and the second one is the smaller. You are correct. Okay, so now our second thing which we are going to learn in this chapter is about bigger, smaller. Some exercises are there in this page. Chest to put which is bigger, take for which is bigger and which is smaller. Now, you just think that there are three trees or more than two trees. Then we won't say one is bigger and the other, others are smaller. No, what we will say there, which word we will use there? We will use biggest and smallest. So that the object, which is the bigger one among those objects, we will call it as biggest. Okay. And the smaller object, the little one, we will call it as smallest. That is it. That is if only two objects are there, we will use the words bigger and smaller. If more than two objects are there, that is three or more objects are there, when we compare them, we use the words biggest and smallest. 
So now look here. As you can see, three kids are playing. They are playing in a park. They are sliding. Do you like to go to park? Yes, I know you like to go. So now look here. The boy with that orange t-shirt. Where is he sitting? He is sitting on the top of that slide. And the other two boys are at the bottom. They are at the bottom. One boy is on that side. The other one is here. And same way, a cat is there. Sitting at the bottom of that tree. And a bird is there on the top of that tree. So that is what is top and bottom. Now look here. A book is there. A box is there. And also a pen is there. Which is on the top? Is it the book, the box or the pen? Yes, the pen is on the top. The pen is kept on top. And which is at the bottom? Is it the book or the box? The book is at the bottom. So that is it about top and bottom. Now you tell me, am I nearer to you or farther from you? Where am I? Am I standing very close to you or I am far away from you? Yes, at present I am farther from you. I am not standing near to you. But you just imagine if we were in our classroom. Where will I be? Will I be nearer to you or farther from you? I will be nearer to you. Isn't it? Yes, I will be close to you. Not far away from you. So that is our next topic. Nearer and farther. Here in this picture. Which bird is nearer to this house? Is it that pink bird or the other one? Which is nearer to that house? Yes, it is that pink bird which is nearer to this house. That pink bird is very close to, close to this house. And the other one is far away. It is not that close. Okay, now same as bigger, smaller, biggest, smallest. Next is nearest and farthest. If there are more than two, we will say that the one which is very close by is nearest to that. And the one which is far away is farthest from that. As you can see in this picture, the question there is, Take the puppy farthest from the tree. How many puppies are there? There are four puppies. And which puppy is farthest from the tree? The one which is far away from that tree. It is that last puppy. Isn't it? Yes. And can you tell me which puppy is nearest to that tree? It is this first puppy which is nearest to the tree. Same way next question there is. Take the tree nearest to the bird. You can see three trees there and also a bird. Our question is. You want to take the tree which is nearest to that bird. That means which is very close to that bird. Which is that tree? It is the last tree. Okay, so if we have more than two things, we will say nearest and farthest. The one which is far away from that object, we will say it is farthest from that. The one which is very close to that, we will say it is nearest to that. Okay, now can you see a shawl? 
Where is this shawl? It is on my head. Isn't it? Yes, the shawl is on my head. What, what about that fan? Is it on my head? No. Then what will we say? It is above my head. It is just above my head. It is not on my head. Not on my head. On my head means my head and the shawl are touching each other. Is that fan touching my head? No. It is just above my head. Now look here. Where is this cat now? This cat is on this table. Can you see a house fly here? Is it on the table or above the table? Yes, this house fly is above the table. It is not on the table. It is not sitting on the table. There is no touching is not there between that table and house fly. It is just above that. So that is on and above which comes in our next page. On, under, above, below. So now under and below is also there. We just learned what is on and above. Next is under and below. Just look. Where is this cat? This cat is under this table. This cat is just under this table. Now, where is this cat? Can you say it is under this table or below this table? Yes, it is below this table. Same way you can see here, there is a fan above the table. Then one boy is sitting on the table. A mouse is there under the table. A cat is there on the table. Many things are there like that in this picture. When we look around, we can see many objects, isn't it? Yes, you just, just think of a playground. You can see ball there or if you are playing snake and ladder or ludo one small bot stack thing was there do you know what is the name of that yes it is known as dice that dice has another shape ball is in some other shape what about the ice cream which you eat that corn ice cream which you eat the shape is different. So when we look around, we can see different shapes around us. Some plain shapes are also there. Some solid shapes are also there. Examples of plain shapes or two dimensional shapes are triangle. This is a triangle. Square. Rectangle. And a circle. All these are some examples for a two dimensional shapes or plane shapes. And as we said before, we can also see some solid objects or three dimensional shapes. Some of those three dimensional shapes are sphere, cube, cuboid cylinder and a corn okay so among these objects these different shapes some shapes can roll and some shapes can only slide for example you just look this ball i'm just giving a push for it see what is happening it is rolling. You just take your pencil and keep it there on your table and give a push for that. What will happen? It starts 
rolling, isn't it? Yes. But you just keep this book, your notebook or your textbook on the table and give a small push for it. Is it rolling? Can it roll like this? No, it is only sliding on the floor. So some objects can roll and some objects can slide. Objects which are round in shape, if their shape is round or if they have some round shapes, round faces, they can roll. If there is a flat face for an object, then it will slide. Okay, so some rolling objects are also there, some sliding objects are also there. Now let us see a beautiful story. Here is the story of a little lamp and his grandmother. So this lamp one day was going through a jungle to visit his grandmother. On the way, he met with a wolf, a cunning, what to say, a scary wolf. And the wolf said, stop there, I'm going to eat you. Little lamb got frightened and he said, please let me go. I'm going to see my grandmother. I will come after seeing her. Okay, then the wolf said, okay, you go now, but come back. So this lamb went to see his grandmother and while he was returning from there, he told his grandmother oh, what has happened. He said that one wolf is standing there, waiting there in the middle of the jungle to eat me. What will I do, grandma? Then that tricky, cunning grandmother told that lamb, you just hide inside this dalek. Do you know what is a dalek? Yes, it is that drum which we used to beat. That drum. What is the shape of that drum? It is cylindrical in shape, isn't it? Yes. So grandmother told that lamb to hide inside the dalek. So the lamb agreed and he jumped into the dalek. And the grandmother just gave that dalek a push and the dalek started rolling. So when this dalek reached this wolf, wolf asked, did you see a lamb coming this way? Then the lamb inside that dalek said, no, I didn't. But this cunning wolf felt something fishy, something suspicious and he started running behind that dalek. But before the wolf catch that lamb, the lamb was able to escape to his house. So only because of his grandmother's tricky idea, he escaped from that wolf. Okay, so that is the story. So this is all about first chapter, inside, outside, bigger, smaller, biggest, smallest, top, bottom, nearer, farther, nearest, farthest, on, above, below, under and some shapes around us. So thank you all.